I'm making some homemade pizza in my Dash Mini Griddle and my Dash Mini Waffle Maker. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. So here's the mini griddle and here's the mini waffle maker. And this is what I'm using. So I'm using um, small biscuit dough and some pizza sauce. And then here I have some provolone cheese. And I'm going, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cook the crust in the waffle maker. So I'm going to take one of these biscuit doughs and I am going to flatten it out. And we're going to have a, a thinner crust. Now this biscuit dough had um, been previously frozen. And then I defrosted it in the refrigerator for a while. Um, what I could do, which would be easier, is to actually get a little rolling pin and roll this out. I'm just going to do this um, with my hands right now. It doesn't matter if the edges get a little bit frayed. That's okay. Maybe stretch it out a bit. Okay. So I am going to cook this as pizza crust. I'm going to put this in the waffle maker. Right there. That's like a perfect fit. I'm going to shut that and I'm going to cook that for about four minutes. Right now it's been three minutes and here's what I'm going to do. I am going to take this crust out of the waffle maker. I'm going to put it here on the griddle and I'm going to take some of my pizza sauce. I'm going to put the pizza sauce on it. It's going to be really nice because pizza sauce will go in all those little indentations. And then I'm going to cover it with this cheese, which is like a perfect fit. And then we're just going to cook that for like a minute. We're going to get the cheese melty. And uh, then that pizza will be good to go. And I have my other biscuit dough. So we're just going to make another one here. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so the cheese stuck to the top a little bit. That's okay. Let's see how nice and melty it is. It almost looks like a cheeseburger, doesn't it? Looks like a cheeseburger. It's like a super cheese pizza. See how nice it came off. So that's what it looks like. If we want to make it prettier, what we could do is we could put a little bit more cheese on top for presentation. We could also add some parsley or oregano. Let's cut this in half and let's take a look at it. Let's cut a small piece and let's taste it. That's really good. It tastes like a deep dish pizza because I'm using the biscuit dough as the crust. So the crust tastes different than normal pizza crust. Obviously, if you have pizza dough, you could always use pizza dough. But otherwise, it tastes just like a pizza. Very good. Okay, let's look at our next crust. So here's the pizza crust. And remember to unplug your Dash Minis when you're done using them. For the next pizza, I am going to use some pesto on it. Uh, not everyone likes um, cheese pizza. So I have a vegan pesto. There's no cheese in this pesto at all. That looks really good also. I'm going to shut this and let that cook for about a minute. This is the Trader Joe's Vegan Cal Cashew and Basil Pesto. Here's the other half of that pizza. And normally I would eat pizza with my hands. But it was really hot when I took it off, so that's why I used a fork and a knife. But if you wanted to, you could grab it with your hands. 
Okay, let's check out the pesto pizza. That looks really good. There's the pesto pizza. And let's cut into this one also. Normally I would just pick these up and eat them, but I'm not really waiting for them to cool. That is so good. <laughs> it's so good. I love this pesto. And there you have it. That's how you can make some quick, cheap, and easy uh, little pizzas in the Dash Mini Griddle and the Dash Mini Waffle Maker. It's a lot quicker when you're using more than one of these units at a time. If we wanted to, we could cook the crust first in the griddle and then put the toppings on and do everything in the griddle. Um, but it's kind of easy to have an assembly line going where we uh, do the crust in the waffle maker and then move it over to the griddle and put the toppings on and cook it there. And then we could do another crust at the same time and it just makes things go a lot faster. And you can do all kinds of different variations. You could use pizza dough instead of biscuit dough. Um, you could use grated mozzarella cheese on top instead of just the provolone cheese. Um, you could use any toppings that you like really so i hope this video was helpful for you if it was please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to this channel if you'd like me to post more videos like this one thanks so much for watching have a great day bye